Hi, this is Rob. This is part four of Longevity's Innovator 255i. Now I've gone through the, the stick rod welding, both applications of the TIG, the DC and the AC. And so now we're going to go ahead, put those off to the side. We're going to go to the plasma cutter now. This is the one I've been waiting for. Now the plasma cutter is really easy. It's going to hook up right to the front. It comes with your gun for it. What I like about the gun, it's got like a little safety guard here. And uh, that's really nice. I like that. And then when, it, when the unit comes to you, you're also going to get the regular setup that's already on the gun. But then you're going to get another set of the cup and some tips on there. And then you're going to get the hose. And then on the back of the unit, and I'll show you how to hook that up, it goes in the same fitting that the gas for the TIG welder comes out of. And so, yeah, let me go ahead and get this stuff off of here, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to hook this puppy up here. This is nice. Okay, now we're going to set this thing up for the plasma. And uh, the fittings on here are the same thing, that the same kind of fitting that we had for the foot pedal and the stingers. And... Uh, and for the gas, right? But this is going to be for your airline now. And on the back of the unit, that's where the airline will go in. And you have the, the screw-on fitting, or you can get the quick release kind if you want. It just depends on how you like it. If you like a dedicated line, then you want to screw it in. But if you want to move the, the unit, quick release, just like a regular airline. And then just tell them what you want with your unit, and then they'll, they'll set it up for you. And then here, you got another little plug for your ground, okay? Now this is a secondary ground. It's kind of like an earth ground. And so you make sure you get that put on. Oh, too much thread, but there you go. And just put that on. And then your ground cable here. And then your, uh, the stinger for, the, uh, for your plasma gun is going to be right here on the other side. There we go, we're all hooked up there. And we're hooked up there. Now you turn the unit on. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, you can see that we're still set for the, for the AC. And we're still on program three. So what we're going to do, we're going to set it to program four, okay? Now you don't have to worry about any of these buttons here except for the plasma uh, button. See, now we've got, that's the TIG, then it'll go the arc, then now it'll be the plasma. Now this is a 40 amp plasma, and it'll go up to the 40 amps, and then that's, that's your adjustments there. You know, 40 amps is as far as you're going to go, and that's, uh, I'd say you can cut up to a half inch material. We'll find out, because I have some. And then, so we'll go up there. Now your air pressure is, dedic is uh, determined by your valve on the compressor itself. It's a free flowing uh, line. So then you just dial in your regulator on your compressor. So we should be ready to go here. and. Uh, We'll set this up and start cutting. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to set up your gun right quick. And real basic, really easy. First one, you got your contact tip here. You just screw that in. And uh, good finger tight. You don't really want to put a lot of pressure on it, but you do want to have all these units nice and tight. Otherwise, you're going to arc out and it's just not a good thing. Then we'll take our cone. Put that on there. Then again, too, not too tight. You can put a little, little pressure to it with the pliers, but I don't. Then you got your ceramic cup. Screws right on. Now, when you're, you can weld it like, or you can cut it like this, but you don't have any distance to regulate. If you get too close, you're gonna arc out. You're gonna get blowback onto your tip and stuff. So we also have these little, little, um, guards right there they'll slip right on and that'll keep you from touching the material okay and then we also have some other ones that are even nicer and these are these help you for for radiuses and it puts right on there and you can make a nice circle 
and then also to just like the with the TIG Stinger it comes with some extra parts you know the consumables you're gonna end up going through them you know everybody does so what we're gonna do we're gonna cut a little aluminum we're gonna cut some stainless steel now I've got another piece here nice big thick piece of half inch mild steel and myself personally I, I don't care what I'm cutting with I still would preheat it a little bit but we're gonna try it at the 40 amps and just see how far it'll cut through I'm thinking that it's gonna go through and so let me get my hood which brings me back to another thing with the hoods from longevity is that inside you got the separate settings for your your shades right okay you can use it for grinding which go down to six and then really really bright welding it will go up to 13 but for for myself here i like a nine and uh, just like a regular cutting torch and uh it'll it'll set it right up for you on the sensitivity and once you start to use this boom you're ready to cut so uh let's do it let me see what I want to do first here. Let me see, this was our first video here. This is our mild steel, our arc welding. Let's hang it over the side, that way my boss don't get mad at me. I like the safety guard on it too. Pretty darn good. That's the mild steel, boy. That blew right through it. Matter of fact, you can even turn it down some. Try our stainless steel. I'm not gonna do too much. like that I didn't cut it off but it cut through now let's try this half inch on this one here I'm gonna use that little bracket that little clamp you see that keeps keeps me off there now you want to go slower goes through but see I'd I'd like to preheat it myself but uh that's all that is but that's pretty thick material anyway I'm sure I can let's see if I can cut it off Well, it's not pretty, but it works. Should have preheated it. See, that's the point. Anyway, we know the plasma cutter will work, and for the for the the innovator being a four in one man, that's that's the way to go. I think that one one thing right there in the shop or in the garage, and uh, you got it all. And look how compact it is. Anyway, there's all four of them. And uh, you know what? I'm done. I'm Rob. Thanks for joining me at Longevity Learning Lab. And uh, hope you like the innovator. See you next time.